Hello friends in this part we have discussed how to create folder or directory by using PHP script with Ajax jQuery. So for this on index page first we have defined one button with attribute type is equal to button, name is equal to create folder, it is equal to create folder and button text also create folder. When we have click on this folder one bootstrap model will pop up a text box to enter folder name. So for create bootstrap modal we have write division tag with attribute it is equal to folder modal and class is equal to modal and fade. Here modal class identifies the content of this division tag and fade class adds transition effect to bootstrap modal. Then after we have write other division tag with class attribute is equal to modal dialog, this class sets the proper width and margin of the modal. In this division tag we have write one more division tag between this tag with attribute class is equal to modal header. This class is used to define the style of the header of the modal. For display bootstrap modal title, we have write heading for tag with class is equal to modal title with HTML code like span tag with attribute that is equal to change title with text create folder. This class display the title of the bootstrap modal and we will change title at the time of folder name change. For display bootstrap modal title, we have write heading for tag with class is equal to modal title with HTML code like span tag with attribute that is equal to change title with text create folder. This class display the title of the bootstrap modal and we will change title at the time of folder name change. Now we have defined one more division tag with attribute class is equal to modal body. Here modal body class is used to define the style for the body of the modal. Under this modal we have defined one input type is equal text with attribute name is equal to folder name, it is equal to folder name. User can enter new folder name in this text box. Below this tag we have write input type is equal to hidden with name is equal to action and it is equal to action. In this tag we can store value of create folder or update folder name. After this we have defined one more input hidden tag with name is equal to old name and it is equal to old name. In this tag we will store folder old folder name at the time of change of folder name. Lastly we have write input type is equal to button with attribute name is equal to folder button, it is equal to folder button and in value attribute we have write create folder. By clicking this button we can create or change folder name. Lastly in HTML modal code we have defined division tag with attribute class is equal to modal footer and in this division we have defined one button type is equal to button class is equal to button and button default bootstrap class and data dismiss is equal to model. Here modal footer class is used to define the style for the footer of the modal and by using this button we can close bootstrap modal. This way we have make modal for create new folder. Now first we want to set the value of some tag gate the time of when we have click on button with it create folder, so we have write dollar document with on method and under this method we have write click event with button it create folder. So when we have click on this button this code will execute. Under this first we want to set value of hidden action tag. So we have write dollar with hidden tag id action with value method and under this method we have write create. Here we have set action hidden field value to create. After this we want to clear value of folder name text box. So we have write dollar with text box id folder name with value method and under this method we have write blank value. Then after we want to set value of button with it is equal to folder button. 
So we have write dollar with button and the folder button with value method and under this method we have write create. Now we want to clear value of hidden tag with attribute it is equal to old name, so we have write dollar with hidden tag and old name with value method and under this method we have write blank value. After this we want to set modal title with create folder, so here we have use span tag with it change title with text method and under this method we have write create folder. This will set this text on modal title. And lastly we want to show folder modal when we have click on this create folder button. So we have write dollar with modal and folder modal with modal method and under this method we have write show. By using this method we have pop modal on browser. Now we have moved to write query code for create new folder. So we have write dollar with document selector with on method and under this method we have write click event with modal button id folder button. So when we have click on this button this code will execute. Under this first we have write folder name variable is equal to dollar with text box id folder name with value method. Here we have stored text box value under folder name variable. After this we have defined one more action variable is equal to dollar with hidden tag id action with value method. This method have fetch value from hidden action field and store an action variable. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write folder name variable value is not equal to blank. This condition will check if folder name variable value is not blank then it will execute if block otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose folder name variable value is blank then it will execute else block of code and under this we have write alert with message like enter folder name. But suppose this variable has some value then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write ajax request with first option url set to action.php. Here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method set to post method. Here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data option, in this option we can define which data we want send to server. So here we have write folder name variable and action variable data has been sent to server. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request successfully completed and this function will receive data from server. Under this function first we want to hide folder modals so we have write dollar with modal and folder modal with modal method and under this method we have write hide. This code will modal. After this we want to refresh folder list table. So we have call load folder list function. This function will load folder list and table folder. And lastly we want to display alert pop message on web page. So we have write alert with data. This will display pop message which it has been received from server. Now we have moved to write PHP code for create folder. So here we have write of statement and under condition we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to create. If this variable is equal to create then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write again write if statement and under condition we have write not operator with file exists function and function we have write dollar post folder name variable. This condition will check if folder name with this variable value is not exists in our working folder then it will execute if block otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose folder name is already exists then it will execute else block of code in this block we have write echo statement with text like folder already created. But suppose folder name is not exists then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write make directory function with three argument. In first argument we have write dollar post folder name variable. In second argument we have write permission 0 triple 7 and third argument we have write true. 
This function will create folder with name get from dollar post folder name variable with create folder precision. So we want to send folder create message to Ajax request so we have write echo statement with message like folder created this message will be pop up to user without refresh of web page and newly created folder name has been appear on web page. Now we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends first we have refreshed the page and now we can see one create button has been appear on above folder list table. So we have click on this button then modal has been pop up with one text box for enter folder name and one button for create folder. So here we have directly click on create folder button then pop up message like enter folder name has been appear on web page. So we have write new folder name in text box and click on button. After clicking on button one message like folder created has been pop up on web page and that folder name has been appear under folder list also. That means our code is working. Now we want to change this folder name. So in next part we will discuss how to change folder name by using PHP script. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.